so the main thing I want to bring out to you about uh, this particular soda, like a can of soda, it's got 11 teaspoons of sugar. The sugar causes a significant rise to spike up. It causes a significant release of insulin. It affects, uh, it causes this, this phosphoric acid uh, after you take the drink, it, it, it goes into the lower intestine. It meets up with the other minerals like uh, magnesium. It binds with magnesium, binds with zinc, binds with calcium. And instead of reaching the bones, guess what, guys? Because it's already binded or bound to this type of thing, the kidneys actually urinate it out. That's what happens. So we never really get this, phosph this, this calcium into the bone because the phosphoric acid is interfering with that assimilation. Big, big problem. More common in females and males, uh, but it leads to osteoporosis and compression fractures. Let's go to a uh, couple of different pictures I can tell you here. Uh, there are some other studies here, which I'm going to go into a little later, possibly. But let's, let's go ahead a little bit here. And we look at this bone right here. We can look at the osteoporotic bone, the normal matrix versus the osteoporotic bone, we can see that the normal matrix on top is more closed in, it's solidified. You can see that you got a lot of holes in the osteoporotic bone because the calcium is not being fulfilled in that area, which leads to a lot of weakened bones. If you look here, normal bone versus osteoporotic, you can see this is what it actually looks like in real bone, osteoporotic and normal. By the way, this will be on my channel. You can come back to it as well. Here's another picture here, okay? Normal bone versus osteoporotic. Now, very common, we'll see it in the hip area. Uh, we'll notice that uh, the, 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 the lady, more common in females, it happens in males too, will, won't even fall. Will just kind of twist or, or kind of like hit themselves the wrong way and boom, it just gives way because it's so weak. It's like the straw that broke that camel's back because this thing right here is doing lots of damage. Yes, it tastes good with potato chips and Doritos and all those, you know, McDonald's. I know, I understand that, but it does a lot of damage to you people. I just want you to understand the, the significant problems it can cause. So let's look at these particular x-rays here. You can see a compression fracture right there. That compression fracture basically means that that bone was so weak that the bone just collapsed. And that's how compression fractures happen. You don't have to fall. You don't have to hurt yourself. It just collapses. And that's what it can do when you're not sustaining enough calcium. Here's another picture here. Uh, you can look uh, uh, at the higher portion on the left and kind of the middle to the right. That's a compression fracture. If you notice when you look at that x-ray, this is something you should learn anyways, guys. If you ever look at your x-rays in a doctor's office, always look at the outside of the x-ray. You see that picture of fame appearance, how it's darker on the outside and lighter on the inside? Well, the whole entire bone should be dark. You shouldn't see that picture frame. That picture frame is that outline of that white around that around the, the square part of that bone, which is the body of the bone, okay? Here's another compression fracture, a little bit lower down. You can see that, all right? Here's another compression fracture. That's a, a wedge deformity, but a compression fracture, okay? Because the load of the body is just compressing on and it just gives way. Now, that's why you need to be very, very careful. So we looked at the osteoporotic portion, the normal portion. Um, if we look here, uh, the difference between soft drinks and water, just to give you a little insight, I wanted to share this with you, is that if you look at the soft drink, it's an empty beverage, means there's no value of any nutrition. It increases the risk of tooth damage. It's, uh, it can cause, obviously, addiction, which it does. It weakens the bones. It can cause heart arrhythmias. It can lead to more deposits of fat in the liver because excessive sugar turns to high triglycerides, and it's linked to, to diabetes and obesity. There's no question if you're eating more sugar, you're going to get fat because this excess sugar is being stored as fat and that's what you can't afford. All right. Now, obviously, as you get older, you can't afford to potentially be a type two diabetic as well. Now, if you look at water, it builds muscle. It helps you build muscles. Good for your joints. It keeps your mood, allows your body to excrete toxins. It speeds up metabolism. It keeps your skin healthy, allows your kidneys to get rid of toxins, allow it to function, allows it to increase the metabolism, allows you to think correctly. God, it does so much. I mean, how can you compare the difference? It's an addiction. It's like smoking or it's like drinking or whatever it may be. So I need to explain that to you to give you a little bit understanding. Let's look at this picture right here. What happens to the human body after you drink a can of cola? 
Now, a lot of you may not be able to read this real clearly, but I'll go through it real quick. Okay, 10 minutes after you drink cola, sugar will shock your system. Uh, the recommended daily allowance, you will not feel nausea because the phosphoric acid will suppress sugar effects. Okay, the phosphoric acid does things you don't even know it does. Now, the insulin level starts to shore, that starts to soar about 20 minutes after. The liver becomes transforming all sugars into fats at that point. 40 minutes after you drink, you start the absorption of caffeine finishes. The pupils of your eyes expand. Blood pressure increases because your liver injects more sugar into the bloodstream. The pancreas injects uh, more additional portions of insulin, attempting to try to digest those carbohydrates. You then get that rush down where you get that hypoglycemia, you get dizziness, you get hunger, and then you start having other uh, what they call Addison receptors are blocked. This prevents the, the sleepiness, and you start getting other physiological changes. Now, 45 minutes after, dopamine in the brain increases, stimulates the brain's pleasure centers. You feel real good, kind of like what heroin does, believe it or not, guys. And then uh, phosphoric acid links to calcium, the magnesium, and zinc in your intestinal tract, accelerating magnesium, uh, obviously, I mean metabolism, I'm sorry, accelerating metabolism, and obviously the calcium is increasingly discharged from the kidney in the urine. So obviously the diuretic effect starts to begin. The calcium, magnesium, and zinc uh, contained in your bone as well as the sodium, the electrolytes in the water are, are being discharged. You're not getting what the bones need because of this phosphoric acid. So what happens is you become irritable, you become lazy, and obviously all the water from the cola is discharged with the urine. So I thought that was really, really impressive, this kind of stuff. I thought it was kind of interesting, the physiology there, when we look at what a cola can do to us. Uh, also, I wanted to basically state that caffeine does similar effects. Uh, caffeine will rob ca calcium from getting into the, the bone and the matrix of the bone as well. And uh, I thought that's really important. The reason why I want to talk about this is because there's so many hip fractures, so many elderly people who have hip surgery, hip prosthesis, and compression fractures, and a lot of this stuff can be prevented. So this is your health. Uh, this is your wealth. Uh, this is primarily in Coke and colas. Anytime you see phosphoric acid in the lemon-lime drinks and your, and your ginger ales, you're not generally going to have phosphoric acid in it, primarily in colas. I want to stress that to you, okay? So that's really important you understand that, and I just wanted to, 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 to make you aware of this because a lot of people are asking questions about osteoporosis, and you know what? We, we've had so many good, it's not any soda, it's only colas, but the important thing, by the way, is... Um, when it comes down to, we spent a lot of time on calcium, magnesium, uh, vitamin D. We spent a lot of time, uh, you know, uh, uh, vit vitamin uh, K2. And we talk about all these things, how to make the magnesium, how to make the bone strong. You can go back to our other videos, great videos. We've been doing a lot of this over the last couple of weeks. But the point I'm trying to get to is that if you continue to drink this and take those nutrients and those vitamins, it's going to be depleted out of your kidneys. Okay. You have to understand it's just not... Okay, taking vitamins, just not taking pills. Everything has to work together and assimilated the right way in order for you to be healthy. This is really important stuff. And it's nothing that I'm selling you. It's nothing that I'm telling you that you have to do. I'm just giving you the, the, the literature, giving you the information to make you aware, to keep you healthy so you can live a happy and obviously healthy life. Okay, guys, I just want to say uh, good night and good morning to those two or a good day to those people in Asia across the world. And I'll go to the chat room just for about five, 10 minutes after this. And again, I just want to say blessings to everyone. Bye-bye now.